I'm here at Multimodal with Neil Maud, director of Arena Group. I'm going to ask him a few questions about the logistics industry. Uh, Neil, what are the key problems you see in the industry at the moment? Arena Group work with a number of logistics companies, principally in the food and, and um, frozen foods delivery sector. And we find that um, those companies need help with their proof of delivery documentation. They're holding goods on behalf of their customers. They deliver those goods into typically the big four supermarkets, into their distribution centres. And there's an enormous paper chase of documentation proving what was delivered and when, when it was delivered and where. And what we do is we help them get that documentation under control. What tends to happen is that some goods will be delivered into the supermarket, some supermarket documentation will be produced. So you've got this chain of information and it's being managed by drivers. Okay, so we help the, the logistics companies in their driver debrief process to capture that information so that they can pass it on to their customers, the manufacturers of the frozen goods, and those manufacturers can then be paid by the supermarkets. Uh, but isn't this data already captured on the mobile devices that drivers carry in the logistics sector? You'd think so. You know, in, certainly in the consumer world now, you never sign for anything on paper, it's always done on a digital device. Um, however, there are some, some real key differences in the way this process works within frozen foods and, and food delivery generally. Because what happens is that the logistics company, they have their proof of delivery document, but the supermarkets, they will have their terms and conditions, they don't want to sign somebody else's document. So what happens is that they will say, okay, you brought your delivery notes, fine, that's great, um, but we're going to issue a goods received note which says, this is what we've booked in, and this is what we're actually signing for. So they're creating documentation in that process. So that doesn't tend to happen digitally anymore. Of course, you know, some supermarkets and some depots for supermarkets are actually passing information back electronically, but it's definitely not done with mobile devices. Ah, so what problems does this cause customers then? Well, first of all, there's the problem of dealing with somebody else's documentation. You know, if, you are, if you're creating your own documents and passing them to somebody else and then you want to capture them later, it's, you, know, you stick a barcode on there and the scanning process is really simple, really straightforward. However, if somebody else is giving you a document, they're possibly not going to help you with that process. Uh, they're just going to give you what's convenient for them. So there's a real problem with capture of those documents. It's, it's a difficult process. Secondly, you, you need to deal with um, mixed mode, mixed streams of information then. For us, a document is either a piece of paper or a, um, a stream of information delivered electronically. And those logistics companies, they really need those documents to, to go through a standard process so they're treated consistently. And of course, the, and there's a third problem there, which is timeliness. You really need to get those documents back to your customer, the manufacturer of the goods, so they can start their invoicing process and they can get paid more quickly. It's important for their cash flow. And, and why is this important to your customers? Well, there's the cash flow element. That's, that's really important to our customers. Um, but also there's the reputational risk. Our customers, the logistics companies, they're really, really keen to be providing a great service to their, their customer, the manufacturer. That's how they win business. The more surety they have about this process, the more concrete and clear the process can be, the better they can report to their customers, the more they can distinguish themselves from the competition, win more business, retain customers. Frankly, if you do this well, you win more business. If you do it badly or averagely, then you're potentially going to lose some customers. Right, and, and what about other documents? I mean, can the system do anything else? Well, our system, Arena system, is called MStore, and it's a general enterprise standard document management solution. So we can capture all kinds of information and documents to us. As I said that's that's paper, that's electronic, that's email, that might be um, a machine-to-machine -machine communication that we make readable for a person. So there are many, many applications across an organisation, such as within um, within the finance elements, um, and we provide workflows where people can authorise spend, authorise invoice payments and so on. But increasingly we're seeing that um, compliance and making sure you have your information in order is really, really key to organisations. And um, we're going through a little bit of change now in the, in the document management industry. There's something called General Data Protection Regulation coming in from the EU, the GDPR. 
And even though Brexit is going on around us, this GDPR regulation is going to come in force and it's got some teeth behind it. It's, it's designed to protect the data rights of an individual, protecting people's um, their right to their information, how that information is used. And that's a great thing. But it also places a real onus on organisations to properly have that documentation, that information under control. Um, an organisation who might be in a business to consumer world, it clearly has got a major issue there. But even organisations within the logistics sector, they're keeping personal information about their drivers, their staff, people that they engage with, and they have to get that under control. So that human resources application is becoming ever larger for us. Neil, thank you very much for your time today. Thanks Chris, it's been a pleasure talking to you.